Uh, eco village and permaculture and I think that we kind of all agree that like the first thing we need to know is I mean if you have to get land what is what is everybody's vision to do that because mm. some people might want to live on a 35 acre farm that's a very different seeking mechanism of land versus other people might want to live in a five bedroom house in Sedona so you know mm. it's just that there's really a whole, not a whole lot we can do until we understand what the groups want and so what we our next step was to um, devise a another survey form but it's very specific to yeah. eco village not general and so um, we just threw some questions on here and if you guys can think of any other questions that you want to add um, we'd like your input for that um, and so I'll go through those and right now so our form that we came up with so far is um, how or if, how far outside of Sedona would you be willing to live? So if, if not, then your answer is no, I want to live in Sedona, right? And so, and, and I'm, I've been tasked with writing this up, so I'll clarify that, you know, as I write the survey. Um, what resources do you have available to contribute? Um, resources, financially, maybe no money, but you'll, we're willing to contribute, I'm a farmer, so, or I'm, you know, whatever it is, you're, if you're not able to do financial resources, what would that be? And then if it is financial resources, what can you contribute? Because if you want a 35 acre and you could contribute $50, then, you know, we have to find a bunch of people, <laughs> $50 for, for a 35 acre, but we might get there, you know, <laughs> so you know, that's, that's part, so that's part of this equation, you know, um, the, another question is, do you already have property? We've already, there's a gentleman here that are, that mentioned he has a, an acre and a half and he's looking for eight more. And so what this will end up generating if people who do have property mm. and they're really well ready to do it, you know, then we could start pairing people up so awesome. they can make their mini ecosystem. Um, write a paragraph of the dream eco community that you have and so then put some examples like what size what is it a farm is it in the city so just more definition of what you envision specifically so then we could start pairing people up i know that she doesn't she wants to live where there's no wi-fi and no mm -hmm. you know there's mm -hmm. no distraction uh, more off grid yeah. but i know the blockchain folks are definitely not going to want to live in a community <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Like that, yeah right? this is so important we have different. to well, actually, of course, yeah. no wi-fi but either no wi-fi or low wi-fi where there's a, a wi-fi area yeah. And that could be a solution set, but we have to get the, what everyone wants to then start providing solutions for that. And honestly, for something like that, you would probably need a 35 acre or plus, right? To separate it. We just have Ethernet, we hardwire. Yeah, but there's no right or wrong. It's just, we need to get the input to then divide us appropriately to work together. Exactly. And so let's see what other question did I have here? Um, oh, if there is a few things that you must or must not have, that's also very important, awesome. you know, and so, uh, awesome. in your community state below. So he was speaking of, he would, it's maybe not a must, but let's pretend it is yeah. right. He wants a horse yeah. or a couple horses. Yeah. So, you know, his community where he's envisioning, I must have a horse that's part of what I want. Well, if someone's allergic to horses, I don't know if that's even possible, yes. but if someone says, I cannot be around horses because I'm allergic to them, you know, well, clearly either we're going to have a very big piece of property for them to live together and be very separate, or they're going to have to be in different communities. So it's going to be very hard for us to do anything until we start to understand the dynamics of the group and what they want. And then... Then we'll go from there and grouping people together and what they want. And exactly. then the community, the people who are trying to build this can help look for property, assign you to someone who already has property and so forth. So um, I've been tasked as the next to, to, to write this up. And then I guess you guys have all the emails from everybody or contact information that's coming. Yeah. In here. Yeah. So yeah, if you, if you filled out the form in the beginning, then we will have your contact information. And the purpose of it is for, is for this to, to help match make people with resources or talents or desires to each other in the similar visions and actually this spurs a need for like some group out there 
that's just about tooling all the other groups with proper platforms that match the needs yeah. of each community. So just like a platforms uh, vetting team. But anyway. And I kind yeah, of have yeah. into that in the media. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that just like a subgroup from the mass media group, right? It might be connected, So yeah. does anybody here have any other questions that you feel should be part of the survey? What about like uh, veganism versus having you know, animals? Because some people have really strong preference. Yeah, and I think that that's why we try to cut encompass this, and that okay. you know that's where like if you if you're that's your envision, and then things that you can you absolutely have to have and can't have. Yeah. yeah. You know what I would love is a list here and elsewhere of just people who want to live in an eco village. Yeah. Yeah, wait. I'm curious. Just show of hands, who want who was called to village lifestyle? Is this? Me. And it might not be everybody. Okay, but there's a decent number of uh, people. You what? The village. I disagree with you. There's some people who want to live in a village conceptual reality, and I want to limit everyone to the concept of right wrong in the race. Now. I think most what, of what us do. You end up looking like no matter what it is, is back. You tune a, you tune a radio back and forth till you get a sweet spot. The sweet spot of humanity, what we're talking about, is the hamlet. It looks different in all the continents and all the communities and the histories. What is a hamlet of some sort? It's a collective of humans living together and prospering. There will be animals, there must be woodwork, there must be stuff. So you're building hamlets at some level. Because and they've already been built. The designs are there. The, the answer's not in front of us, it's behind us for most of this stuff. Just like looking at the child development. So Remain open to that. But a question that I would add yes. is before we build out this one to 10 year or 100 year bill mm -hmm. on a piece of property that seems beautiful, but in six months it's going to be surrounded by mini malls because the corporations are doing this or because a great reset is uh, grabbing that land because they're doing it. I would articulate the question where is the great reset going? Where do we have time to build? Because to build in a space that's going to be taken away is a sophomoric error. So we must not make that. So where is the Great Reset going? And where is the commerce currently going? And factor that into the places we can build out. Because otherwise, we're building and it's going to be taken away. Thank you. Mm. So longevity, do do diligence, like to, in order to ensure longevity. Sustainability yeah. in the real sense. And that will have to be, so someone, we should put that down as the general task of this group to do, right? I, I don't know if, yeah. Information requirement. Yeah. yeah. Critical information requirement. I guess, like, one thing I would think would be, like, current situation, right? It's like, me personally, I'm ready to throw my money down and, like, go start building tomorrow, right? right. right. So, like, oh, yeah. where are you at in that process, I think, would actually be pretty critical because maybe there's five or ten of us that are like, no, yeah, well, let's do this today. And then maybe there's five or ten of us that are like, well, I got this job at NASA that I got to go back to or from Florida. Or whatever that might be. NASA so queen. I think that's another critical piece is, like, where are you at and what is your timeline for getting this done? Yeah, yeah that's... Uh, The mayor here is very pro smart city 5G. That's yeah. right. Sedona's on board to be a 5G city. There will be microwave weaponry everywhere. There will be food shortages. So for me, it's obvious, and it ties into what, what Jim was saying, that it's probably better to be in a rural area yep. where you can have your own chickens and horses and mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. bicycles. What's the question that came up that just answered Sedona. your question on this That's side? That's not part of the question. Cornville, 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 Cornville,
so the and information board. requirements, the what board. communities are out there all over, because there are question. communities Great. around Canaveral and around all the thought friends. So there's yeah. groups around Thank Orlando you. where yeah. I need to go, because the special operations community is there. Mm -hmm. They're going to be a critical piece in the back in the future. Where are all the communities? And it's critical to have water in the land. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 When I first came out of Ojax, I knew things were going to hit the fan 10 years ago, so I moved out of New York and I lived in California. Left there three years ago, and I've been in search of being where there's water in land. So I spent my first year or so in Ashford, Williams. There's no water there's no out water. there. You have to truck your own water to your property, mm -hmm. especially in Ashford. It's not sustainable. Well, yeah. I would say so that most everyone's probably going to say, I need to have water. Well, no, no, I would suggest you just write land, that down as a rule. They're not thinking about that. No water, no well, life. So I was in Pine Top and Sholo. There's some spots out there with water. But, um, so it's something to think about. All right, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just going to say something really quick as a facilitator. Um, all of this is so important. Like, we need to figure out a better way to, like, get this because... I was ho I was envisioning that we were just going to have one point person yeah. share for each group, and I know you opened it to questions, so I was going to see where that went. Yeah. But yep. I guess what I'll say is like maybe we maybe this is where we need to go, and we need to just all stay here for a while and go into this conversation. But yeah. why don't we do? Can we do a yeah, little survey? To, like we were just trying to really get so yeah. we could divide and conquer. We can yeah. understand like if we're going to go look for property, we need to know mm -hmm. what everybody wants here, and that really was the vision for mm -hmm. this activity, not to solve the world's problems at the moment. Yeah, inventory right, first, because someone. Yeah, money, yeah. We live in a time of like many different realities too, so yeah. so that like and yeah. it's a lot of confusion, and and some people will again are going to hold it down closer to cities, even though they're going to go and become five mm -hmm. G. We'll right. We'll need yeah. them to hold that space. Yeah. We need right. those people right. too. So, so it may yeah, not be a given you. that someone want you know. So mm -hmm. I th I That's, love that you're just starting from an open space mm -hmm. to just learn. Yeah. yeah, and then we can figure out from there. So right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I just think if we can match make the right people to the right project, yeah, yeah, then at that real. point in time, <laughs> all of us can be the same <laughs> community. Yeah, just because right. we're five miles away from yeah. each other doesn't mm -hmm. mean that we're not. Part that doesn't of mean that we won't right. all look right. at the blockchain right. for yeah. a resource, we're you know, maybe, or the mass media. Right. And you guys need clothes or whatever it might be. Like, yeah. Raise your hand if you have a lot them. to say right now. Yeah. <laughs> a lot to say? <laughs> yeah, I just feel like we all have like so much passion for this. Yeah. And I want to recognize that. And I really want to try and keep this. So we're done. In a container. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So we're done. <laughs> Is that okay with everyone? Am I yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm okay. glad. You know, you're, okay. you're, you're, you're doing a very you. important thing. No, 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 no. Thing. We, and we needed that because so, that was getting yeah. a little further out of what I was asking. And it wasn't anyone's. It's just a. That's. There needs totally. to be someone in that role, and unfortunately, that's me right now. So yeah, no, be that person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, who's yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to do the other guilds. Um, I I'm just gonna put it over to you. 